This morning, a local mother has turned the grief from losing her son into an art movement that is quite literally saving lives. Tony sits down with her and shares her story in this morning's all new Show and Tell. This is just one of thousands of rocks painted by my guest today, Ann Carlton. But this is not a art uh, for art's sake. This is art with a purpose. One, to keep the memory of your son Hayden alive. And two, to encourage organ donation. So, Ann, where does this story begin? Well, in 2011, Hayden and um, I went out for a quick run. And uh, he collapsed. And it was years later that I found a couple of rocks. His smile came beaming in, and I knew immediately I needed to be painting rocks. And I heard Hayden say, Mom, tell my story, share my gifts, it's okay. Do you recall what the rocks were that you and Hayden had painted together, the ones that you sort of discovered? Yes. Uh, there's an Oregon duck rock that Hayden painted, and then there's another one that said, Turn me over, turn me over, and I laughed. <laughs> and I heard the message, turn your grief over and share who I am. Wow. So where do the rocks go? And more importantly, how do they get there? <laughs> rocks so are not easy to I have send a, around. Yeah, I have a couple houses out in front yard that colleagues helped me build. And now I am involved in many Groups, Pacific University, Kaiser, Donate Life, and Lions Vision. But you've distributed them on a much broader scale, have you not, to hospitals? Yes. Uh, National Donor Day, the first year, we did 1,548. This last year, on February 14th, we did 3,200. Every rock that's gone out of this room, I take a picture of. Huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. So no duplicates. No duplicates. Wow. Most importantly, every rock is a message of being inclusive and being a part of a community. In my journey personally, through the loss of Hayden, he was my only child, um, to be able to come full circle to a place of pure joy in his honor, I don't have any lack of inspiration. I have, I have all I need to move forward and continue to bring joy in his honor. As a parent, we always want the best for our child, and this is the best I can do. What would he make of this? Do you he think? would think it was really cool. I bet he would. Even, yeah. you know, he would be 26, but he would be all about this. He would have so much to be proud of in the effort that you've done in, in his honor. And I think you know, just as a community member, we're proud of you for doing this. Thank so, you. so thank you very, very much. You betcha. It's been great to meet you. You too. Yeah, thank you very much, Ann. I had such a, a great time visiting with Ann because Kimmy you were saying like you want to read every rock. Yes. Oh my gosh, and there was a fried egg. There and they're was all different. Yeah, they're beautiful. I really like the different. one that yeah. said rock painting is cheaper than therapy. Because right. yeah. anybody who's painted right? though realizes right. it is like a form of therapy. It feels yeah. very exactly. relaxing. And... Yeah, and of course she would not let me leave without right. taking a rock. Oh, and this is the one I chose. Uh, look at that one. Sometimes miracles are just I love that. good people. Yeah, lovely. And and they're really well put together. I'm going to pick it up yeah. now. But I mean, they, they coat them several times. This yeah. is going to last forever, it which will. I thought it makes a lot of sense as his memory is going to last forever. Yeah. But if you're at all touched by this story, I really would recommend you go to Anne's Facebook page. It's called Hayden Rocks uh, Kindness. And we have a link to it yep. on our website. Okay. But you can find there's a whole world here uh, behind all this that you really should know about, the way they distribute these and who receives them. And she says she doesn't care who gets what rock. Right. It doesn't matter. She goes, the rocks know where they're supposed to go. Oh. But also so, yeah. just that connection to encouraging people also to be an organ donor. Exactly. I mean, that's a big part of what well, she's doing right, as well. I mean, the way Hayden became a donor is that when Ann was uh, taking him down to get his license, he said, can I see yours, Mom? And she goes, sure. So she's, he's looking at it, and it's had a little D for donor. He goes, what's this for? She goes, well, I'm an organ donor. He goes, well, I want to oh, be one, too. Oh, and it turns out wow. uh, his donations uh, changed the lives of seven people. Wow. That kind Super of impact. Powerful. Yeah. Really powerful. Yeah, and a link to that uh, the, as well on our site. Yeah. So check Thank it you, out. Tony. Love that well, and the hope is that there's a cascading effect now. Not sure. just seven people sure. with their sure. lives touched, but more than that exactly. now that it's on our uh, mm -hmm. news station here. Yeah. So uh, great stuff, Tony. Thanks. Let's take it.